Good evening, I hope you are doing well. If it's cold where you are, I hope you are keeping warm enough. I wanted to talk about weather, fittingly, and the best way to get weather, which of course is without leaving the comfort of the command line, right? Who knows a thing about going outside? I can just curl wttr.in and get my weather. Um, and by default, it's just gonna go from my IP address to get my location, but I can give it a location if I want to. So I'll just give it Svalbard here and I'm gonna get the conditions, I'm gonna get the temperature, the wind, and I'm gonna get a nice little forecast uh, complete with ASCII art and colors for the next several days. Uh, so this alone is really nice, um, but I'm willing to bet a lot of you already knew that this site existed and knew how to curl it, right? Um, so I wanted to go over some various formatting options for it and uh, how powerful it really is, because I'm willing to bet there's a lot of uh, fun little tips and tricks for this site that you guys might not have already known. Um, now, you might already be aware I've had weather in my status bar up here pretty much every video, um, and that's just from curling wttr.in, but, uh, you know, I don't want to sit there and, like, awk out this temperature or grep out this temperature or whatever, I just want to conveniently get the format. Um, so this is the GitHub for wttr.in, and I'll, I'll link into them in the description for you, of course. Uh, but I'll just go to the one line output here. And these are some of the really basic formatting options you can get. So uh, say I want to get, you know, the format uh, that, I, that I have in my status bar. It's just going to be uh, curl wttr.in um, and slash, I don't know, I'll give it like NYC or something. And then a format equals, I believe mine is actually, so they, there's a couple uh, preset options. So I could get like format one, two, or three. So if I just do format one, uh, that should be what I have. And I've just... Uh, use said to get rid of this uh, plus and space there. Um, you can also, you know, format two as well. That's there's some just preset ones, but of course you can get a fully custom format if you want, you know, very specific information, right? I could do uh, percent C for the little icon and I could do percent big C for the condition name. So I could get, you know, the full condition information there if I wanted that. And uh, the little percent at the end there, we can get rid of that just with a new line. So backslash N. Uh, there we go. And that's, you know, custom information, essentially, essentially, and you can get pretty much whatever you want, you know, conditions, humidity, temperature, uh, wind, location, moon phase, right? I could do like uh, percent M for the moon phase there. Uh, nice little trick you might not know. Uh, WTTR.in actually has full moon ASCII art if you wanted that. So WTTR.in slash moon, and that's just going to be full moon art uh if you if you ever want full moon art and of course it changes based on the moon phase i guess not that interesting right now since it's just a new moon but um there's actually a full python script from the same developer if you wanted that uh it's a rewrite of a very old program actually so that's kind of cool but anyways yeah i'll, I'll link this if you want it i don't really have a need for it but anyways back to the formatting options here um so yeah it's all the basic stuff you would expect and then you have some stuff like uh, times for sunrise, sunset, etc., which um, is actually pretty useful if you're doing stuff outside and you need to be, you know, paying attention to that. I, I usually like to get my sunset time. Uh, so the one thing to keep in mind with this is usually only uh, bigger cities or bigger locations will have sunset time. So if you're somewhere like really remote and rural, it might by default, your provider might not be giving the sunset time. Uh, so you can just go for like whatever city is nearest to you. Um, so if I just do like, I don't know, NYC again, I could just do uh, percent S and that's going to be sunrise or a uh, little S for sunset. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty useful if you, if you want that. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd point that out. Um, so what other cool stuff can you do with it? Well, uh, you can actually compare multiple cities. Now, uh, obviously they show you can curl dash S and then just do WTTR.in and the, the cities here with a specific format and you can get information for a few different cities. Uh, I mean, locations, I should be saying locations, not necessarily cities. Uh, but uh, I have a little trick with diff here. Uh, if I want to compare the full forecasts for a couple of cities um, and I copied this in so I could go ahead and do it. Um, diff dash u, and the reason I'm doing dash u is just for a unified formatting, so that way I can actually get the lines uh, drawn correctly here. Um, and diff dash u, and then just curl the two different locations you want. Um, and it's worth mentioning for the city codes, it's generally going to be what you would think it would be, um, and sometimes multiple will work. So for example, I did New York here, but NYC previously, and both work. So uh, just go with what you think it is, and if it doesn't work, you can try doing like name underscore state abbreviation or province underscore country code. Um, and if you really can't figure it out, then you can look up the correct code, but 
yeah, it should generally be, be what you think it is. Um, and yeah, we've got a nice little comparison here. It's obviously a lot hotter in LA than it is in New York, uh, figures, but anyways, there's also some other formatting options you can do. So this is what, uh, is called the V1 format. This is like the original WTTR.in format that actually got, uh, taken from the WeGo utility or WeGo, I don't know, however you want to say it. That was the like way older utility that WTTR.in is kind of just a wrapper for. But this is the V1 format. There's actually a V2 format as well. So I can do curl WTTR or sorry, V2.WTTR.in slash, I don't know, London. And this is going to be the V2 format, which is a slightly different format with pretty much the same information. This actually has sunrise, sunset times in it and a little bit of a different, you know, weather information right there. And it's got, you know, precipitation graph, uh, temperature graph. Uh, now this would actually look drawn properly if I had line drawing set up correctly. I don't have box draw in my ST build here just because I, I really don't care. I don't really have anything that requires it, so I don't need it. Um, but if you did have line drawing set up correctly and you wanted that, you would get, you know, a line, a nice little line here and nice little precipitation graph and, you know, conditions over the course of a few days, moon as well. So uh, that's pretty cool if you wanted that. Um, so yeah, that's another formatting option. Um, and what else can you do? You can even get it in an image and that is the V3. So if I replace V2 here with V3, uh, that would put an image. I don't have Sixel in this terminal, um, as I've said probably before, uh, but if you did have Sixel, you could just get an image directly in your terminal. Uh, or you can actually convert to an image here. So if I scroll down here, um, you can actually, let me see if I can find it here. That is, oh, it's up here. Uh, you can actually convert to an image and it is, there's full documentation on how to do that. So if you, for example, want an image like on your desktop, you can get an image with the custom formatting you want and convert it into just like a PNG or a JPG to display on your desktop. So as I said, I'll link this in the description if you want to go play around with custom formatting and, you know, get whatever formatting you want. Um, there's lots more options here and this is really extensively good documentation. So you can probably uh, get whatever you want out of this in terms of formatting. But uh, for my own particular formatting, I just have it in my DWM blocks status bar here, which I have talked about before. Um, like I said, you know, it's essentially just condition icon and then temperature. Um, I can click on it to pull up the current forecast. I can right click for some wind and precipitation and I can, you know, scroll up and down for it to just give me a notification with like sunset time, for example, or sunrise. If I scroll up, I'm not going to click it since obviously that would show my location. Um, but anyways, uh, the one thing I'm doing slightly differently is I actually have it cached to a file. So I have both the uh, small information for like just the temperature and icon as well as the like wind and uh, precipitation. I cache that to a file like every 30 minutes, I think it is. And I also cache the full forecast every 30 minutes. Um, and the reason I cache it is just in case for whatever reason, either my internet is down or the site uh, or my, you know, provider for my location is down for whatever reason. So that way, if it's, you know, briefly down at the time that it tries to curl, it'll still retain the information from like 30 minutes ago. Um, just in case, since, you know, it'll time out after a little while if it can't get the info. So uh, that is pretty much how I have it set up. Um, I might put the command in the description, but it's like literally as simple as, you know, uh, if I just do this and then percent %c percent %t uh, backslash n. And yeah, I literally just use said there to get rid of those two characters and that's, that's it. So it's probably not even worth putting it. Um, it's pretty obvious how to do it. So anyways, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something new about good old WTTR.in here. Um, and if you didn't already surmise the argument for why, you know, command line weather is better, um, pretty much all of the browser sites for weather, weather uh, have like all sorts of like ads or uh, graphs that I just don't even need, right? Like I just want, you know, my temperature and my like weather condition and maybe wind speed and that's about it, right? I don't need like a whole graph of like when the rain is coming or like, <laughs> I don't know, whatever, right? So um, this is obviously a far simpler way to do it in keeping with the idea of minimalism, of course. So uh, anyways, I hope you found this video useful, whether you are just being introduced to WTTR.in or have been using it for a while. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to say, this is the actually the same developer who made cheat.sh. So you probably already know about that. Uh, or if you don't, it's just helpful command line cheat, cheat, cheat sheets. So if I do uh, curl cheat.sh here, uh, that's just going to be... Uh, 
guide on it and I can do, you know, like Vim and that's going to be some Vim cheat sheet or uh, whatever I want pretty much. So uh, that's the same developer. So I'll link this in the description too. But yeah, um, this is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I'm sure there's other stuff you can do with WTTR.in that I didn't mention. So feel free to leave a comment if there's anything else you know of. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay warm and I'll see you next time. Peace.